Es mío. Es mí. Mío. Es mí. Mío. Es mí. Mío, Cody. Why is it es mío? Because it's a possessive that goes after the noun. And today we are going to explain the possessives that go after the noun. Remember, this is part two of possessives in Spanish. Also, towards the end of the video, I will be showing you a different way to show possession in Spanish, which might be a little easier for you. But as usual, for now, we're going to have an explanation and then we'll move on to practice with Cody. But for now, let's check the possessives in Spanish. And this it's is... Mio. Mio! As we studied in the previous lesson, possessives show possession. And today we are going to talk about the possessives that go after the noun. We are also going to learn two questions you can use to ask about someone's belongings. And the questions are, ¿De quién es? And then you say the object. Or... ¿De quién son? And then you say the objects in plural. These kinds of possessives I'm going to show you today sometimes will even replace the noun. And they can be masculine, feminine, plural or singular. Mío. Es mío. Or el gato es mío. Tuyo. Es tuyo. El gato es tuyo. Suyo. Es suyo. El gato es suyo. Nuestro. Es nuestro. El gato es nuestro. Vuestro. Es vuestro. El gato es vuestro. Suyo. Es suyo. El gato es suyo. What if the noun is feminine and singular, like la casa? In that case, ask, ¿de quién es la casa? And answer like this. Mía. Es mía. Or, la casa es mía. Tuya. Es tuya. La casa es tuya. Suya. Es suya. La casa es suya. Nuestra. Es nuestra. La casa es nuestra. Vuestra. Es vuestra. La casa es vuestra. Suya. Es suya. La casa es suya. If the noun is plural, it doesn't matter if it's masculine or feminine, ask de quién son, and then the object, like de quién son los lápices. To answer, add an S to the possessive, like this. Son míos, son mías, son tuyos, son tuyas, son suyos, son suyas, son nuestros, son nuestras, son vuestros. Son vuestras. Son suyos. Son suyas. Now it's time for me to show you some examples. Cody will tell me who the objects I'm going to show you belong to using possessives in Spanish. Remember, these possessives go after the noun. So, let's start. ¿De quién es el lapicero? Es tuyo. Or, el lapicero es tuyo. Es tuyo. El lapicero es tuyo. ¿De quién es la camisa? Es mía. Or, la camisa es mía. Es mía. La camisa es mía. ¿De quién son las llaves? Son mías. Or, las llaves son mías. Son mías. Las llaves son mías. ¿De quién son los libros? Son nuestros. Or, los libros son nuestros. Son nuestros. Los libros son nuestros. Okay, to finish with today's lesson, I'm going to teach you another way to express possession in Spanish. And that is using the preposition de. So check this out. First, you are going to say the object, like la mesa. Then you are going to say es de, which expresses possession. And then, to finish, you are going to say the name of the owner or the personal pronoun, like this. La mesa es de María. Or, la mesa es de ella. This could be translated as that's María's table or that's her table. Let's see some examples. ¿De quién es la pelota? Es de Maya. ¿De quién es este libro? 
es de Cody. ¿De quién son estos calcetines? Son de María. Now it's your turn to practice. I am going to show you some objects and you are going to have to guess who does the object belong to. Es de Cody, es de Maya, or es de María. Let's get started. ¿De quién es el pingüino? Es mío. Es de Cody. ¿De quién son los colores? Son de María. Son de María. Or son míos. ¿De quién es el cuaderno? Es mío. Es de Cody. ¿De quién es la cobija? Es de Maya. Es de Maya. So how did you do? Did you guess the answers? Let us know in the comments below. Well, that was it for today's lesson. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it. Also, remember to subscribe so you don't miss any lesson in the future. And remember, if you are going to learn a language, why not Spanish? Chao!